my tip for you today is to take a break from reading sales books. Yes, I'm a guy who writes sales books. Yes, I have friends who write really good sales books. I'm telling you that while those books are valuable, while that information is golden, if you spend time just reading about selling, you're going to develop tunnel vision. You're going to be too focused on the tactical nature of what you do and not on the other roadblocks that get in your way and prevent you from doing it. Now, as I work with clients and as I speak with salespeople and sales leaders, what I've come to realize is that there are only two things that you can do to sell more. That is spend more time selling and make sure you're advancing in those sales processes when you're in them. You've heard me talk about that before, but what are the things that get in your way? They almost always have to do with mindset and perspective and thinking about things in a different way, approaching subject matter in a, from a different angle. So what I'm going to challenge you to do is read books that change the way you think about everything, not just about the way you do what you do professionally. And when you think about things that make overarching changes in your thought processes, that's when you have impacts everywhere. Not just in your business life, but in your family life, in your per, uh, your, your uh, personal life, and in your spiritual life as well. So read books that make you think differently. Read books like uh, um, Nassim Taleb and Malcolm Gladwell are brilliant at that. They, they take subject matter that you may have held dearly for a long time and they attack it from different angles to challenge those beliefs. And if your beliefs stand up to those challenges, then you're in great shape. But in almost every situation, you're going to think differently. And that has far-reaching consequences. Books like Radical Candor from Kim Scott. Books like um, Anything That Brene Brown Has Written Over the Last Half Dozen Years. Read biographies by people you respect. L watch their journeys, watch their challenges, watch the things that they've faced, how they've overcome them. You can almost always see a parallel to your own life. And it's impossible not to be inspired by the fact that these people overcame tremendous adversity to reach the levels of talent and accomplishment that they have. You know, read things for your spiritual mind, read things for your, you know, that's the Bible for some people or other religious texts, depending on what you practice or celebrate or, hey, maybe even all of them so you can learn or, or any of them so you can learn about other people's belief systems and maybe get a different idea of where they're approaching things from. There's so much out there that you can read and you're not going to be able to get it all. But I want to caution you that if you're too hyper-focused in any one direction or any one subject matter, you're going to be missing out on the bigger stuff that can, and, and the wider perspective that will help you in so many ways to remove the roadblocks that will make those tactics so much more effective when you're able to really get involved and, and, and dig in. So expand your horizons a little bit. Read a couple of sales books. And, and, and make sure you're not ignoring those things, but make sure you're, you're well-rounded. There's so much out there that can help you, even though you may not suspect it right away. And I hope you take me up on that challenge.